Hey, how's it going? Um, in case y'all are wondering where I am, I took the internet out of my house so I'm not distracted by the internet doing my spiritual work. The video that's coming up here was shot in my house. <clears throat> it's just a little office space I have at a house across town where my friends live because um, I don't use anything that's like on that shelf there because it's all matrix food. Um, so I got a video coming up here that's six probiotics you can make at home that are cheap, affordable, you make them yourself and they'll change your life, change your digestion, um, do all the wonderful things that probiotics can do which are increased dopamine, serotonin, um, up your immune system. So what they are is the famous Rejuvelac which has been an old school raw for a long time, uh, a cabbage water that is fermented, um, then we got a fermented bean thing that I, um, I don't think I invented it, but I don't know anybody else that has done it. So it's kind of like my own twist on that. It's sprouted beans with the cabbage water used as inoculant. Then we got a chili, which is just ground up chili with, uh, uh, with cabbage. And then you just ferment that like you would sauerkraut or something. That's really, really good. Then we got sea cheese. Um, and then we got a salad dressing, which I inoculate with the cabbage water, or you could do the Rejuvelac. In this video, I do the cabbage water, and you just leave the salad dressing sitting out. So it's a long, long video that I shot over six days, um, just kind of like a week in the life, sort of. It's kind of interesting if you want to just drop in. It's all like what I consider old school raw. So I'm not going to pop back in here, but I'm just saying support me by supporting my music. I just put out a new CD called Thunder Conjuring Mind. Uh, you can buy the CD directly from me. Links in the drop down box. Um, download on Bandcamp. Get it from CD Baby. It's on Amazon. And uh, follow my Tumblr. Follow my Facebook for Second Culture. Um, I got a Facebook for Live Rock Star, but fucking who cares about that? Um, yeah, follow my music, because that's what's important. Okay, so the first one up. So all you gotta do is take, like, about that much cabbage. So, you see, that's just a couple cups of shredded cabbage. We're going to add water to that and then we're going to grind it up in the Nutribullet. Okay, so we'll put the water in there. And then we're going to just grind that up. Okay, so that's good enough to just make it into like a, a total brine. Put it in the jar. And then just add more water. And then that one's done. Just gotta put a lid on it, put it to the side. Done. That's your cabbage water probiotic right there. Okay, so the number two one is the, uh, I'm gonna do a chili, a probiotic a chili sauce or salsa or chili, yeah. So these were these are Serrano's and I bought them originally green and um, I let them sit around till they got red because when they turn red um, it goes up exponentially the amount of vitamin C. So um, some of them you can see they're like a little bit yucky, 
So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to cut them off and I'm going to get them all ready to grind them up too. So there's all the red chilies. Um, it's just less than, uh, yeah, it's just less than a, what is that? It's a quart. Um, I'm going to grind those all up, put some water in there. I want this to be thicker because it's going to be like a chili than I did that. So just a little bit of water in there. Kind of a little bit too watery, I think. So we're going to throw some cabbage in there. Uh, the cabbage is uh, really good inoculant for everything. So the cabbage always goes in there. I always do that with the chilies to kind of get it going. For some reason the cabbage just gets it, gets it going. So just going to go for getting that a little bit thicker, all right? Yep, and there we go. So that is uh, just going to pour that into a jar. And boy, that stuff is strong. I want to make sure you wash your hands after that. So here's the third one. It is uh, just two cups of wheat berries. Just going to put water in there. We're going to make rejuvelac. Um, this is classic old school raw. I was using rejuvelac, drinking as much as it is possible. Use it in instead of water in your salad dressings um, and to uh, also make um, seed cheese, which we're going to make with these pumpkin seeds. But first, uh, I'm going to explain to you this. So, we're just going to soak those overnight. And then we're going to sprout them. So, so, these are pumpkin seeds for the, for the nut cheese. Or seed cheese, actually, because they're pumpkin seeds. So, we're going to soak these overnight. And... I already have some rejuvelac made right here, so um, this is kind of like you just keep reusing the wheat berries and adding water. After the water goes down, you add more water, and it just gets stronger and stronger. So there's all the wheat berries down there, and then we'll just blend this up with the seeds, the soaked pumpkin seeds, and uh, then let that sit, and then it turns into seed cheese. So. So then the other one we're going to do, um, there is uh, three, three kinds of beans. I got mung, garbanzo, and lentil beans. And we're going to soak and sprout those. And then using the fermented cabbage water, um, we're going to use that for an inoculant to ferment these beans after they've soaked uh, 24 hours and then sprouted. Okay, so there we go. We got the five, the start of the five that we're gonna do. Got the cabbage water right there. Um, got the chili 
and then the nut cheese, the nut cheese that we're going to do, we're soaking and sprouting those, and then we're going to mix that with the rejuvelac that's already done. See the white stuff on there? That's kind of comes to the top. That's like no big deal, but that's rejuvelac that's like recycled like five, six times, and you just keep doing that until it's like too strong for you, or it just seems like it's long enough. Um, and then there's the the uh, beans that we're soaking and uh, soaking those for 24 hours and then we're going to sprout those and then there is the wheat berries that we are soaking overnight and then we will sprout them um, for like 12 hours and then we'll put those in water and then they'll be like they'll be like that the rejuvelac okay hey so I forgot to mention to you that um it, your beans will sprout better if you soak them in warm water so what I do is I put them in the dehydrator you'll have to excuse my dehydrator because I've been dehydrating pine pollen and I haven't cleaned it up so there's pine pollen all over there but um, that's not gonna hurt this so I have another one this is the one I showed you earlier but um yeah so I'm gonna put that in there at about like hundred and fifteen degrees like you know six or seven hours to get the water warm and they're, they're they taste better like that so hey this is like the day after um, and when you uh, do the beans this is actually another jar of beans that I started it's a little bit different just for for eating for sprouting but when you do this see how it turns that color of brown you want to rinse that out with some fresh water, which I'm already doing with the beans that I showed you. That's these, right? Whoa, right. Here. And I'm just going to discard that water because, see, there's all the, the yucky stuff. And just clean that off. And that that is those, um, what do you call it? The uh, enzyme inhibitors, the phytic acids. And you want to get those away. And there's a bad one right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and if you just... Uh, you want to get those away and freshen that water up. And uh, that's it. So, hey, part, whatever it is, uh, we got to drain those off. The seeds, the pumpkin seeds, there we go. Um, yeah, so, uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I can't. Okay. Okay, so tonight we're going to blend those up. You can see they're already kind of sprouting and stuff. Um, yep. So, hey, the wheat berries are done soaking. So we're just going to pour those off so they can just kind of sit here and sprout for about... 12 hours or, you know, 12 hours minimum. Um, 24 hours is okay. And then we're going to just uh, stick them in like that, like we do that, and then they're ready to go. And so we're going to use this Rejuvelac that I already made up, um, that I've been actually recycling the water, use it, fill it back up. Is probably getting down to the maybe the end it sort of gets this film on there that's no big deal it's just a build up from the uh, probiotics and so you can um, you can scoop it off if it bothers you it's really no big deal it's just all this weirdness that we have from our culture of where we think everything has to be sterilized and actually 
almost as you'll find from this video that I'm doing, almost every single kind of raw food can be fermented and it's not going to kill you. It's, it's good for you. Okay, so... Okay, so this is all the pumpkin seeds um, that we drained and they've been just sitting for a little while. We're just going to put all of those in here and we're going to blend them up with the rejuvelac so that they can ferment. We're going to add a few spices, just simple spices to it. We're not going to go all crazy with it. So. So we're going to just kind of make it this like herby kind of cheese. organic herbs here and so this little cup here is uh, a quarter cup at the half line so we're gonna put a about an eighth of a cup of thyme in there we're gonna just put a pinch of rosemary in there for the same with the, uh, the thyme as we did with the oregano, which is just less than a quarter cup. Okay. It's uh, probably going to be a little bit heavy in the taste. A lot of times when you ferment, for some reason the spice goes away. That's just the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to put, we're going to go light with the rejuvelac. We want to get it to just turn over. We don't want it too runny. Okay, so if we're doing this, my the Vitamix might have worked better. It did get the consisti event consistency eventually that I wanted. Yep, still recording. And so we're going to put this in a mason jar. Could actually... I have two of these, could just leave it in here and let it do its thing, because all we're going to do now at this point is just um, set it out overnight. So, hell, that's, that's actually all I'm going to do. I'm not going to transfer it to a mason jar. I'm just going to leave it in the, the little Nutribullet cup. And we're done. So, um, anyways... When you do these kind of, still in the shot, yeah. You do these kind of ferments that where you leave the top on it, you put a towel over them. Just so all the like dust and stuff doesn't get in there, right? So, uh, I'll be filling that one back up to the top. But, there you go. Just so all the little, so they can be isolated and they can do their thing. 
you know, with the uh, inoculant or whatever is going to be dominant in there. You don't want little things that are coming out of the heater, in my case, and dust and stuff getting in there and maybe throwing it, which never really happens, but just be on the safe side. So, anyways. So, hey, here we go. So it's about 16 hours after the last, the blending of the seed cheese, and here it is. Uh, there's the rejuvelax there and stuff. I had some of that this morning to drink. But, um, you know, when you blue, uh, do the rejuvelac and it's a little bit not as thick as I did it with the uh, uh, seeds, you get this on the bottom. You see that, how that is on the, on the chili stuff? You get that settling. And that is actually, I'm not trying to defend uh, whey. Um, it's probably a good protein, but we want to be vegan and we want to not hurt the animals and stuff. And so when people say whey is a byproduct of cheese making they sort of say it like it's a throwaway but that's what it is it's that stuff right there but with this the the seed cheese there since i made it so thick it couldn't find its way to settling on the bottom so it came up to the top if you take a look at that so anyways i've been rinsing and soaking my those are the sort of the total lentil mix and this is the, the one that I, I, sh I showed you. Um, so we want to rinse and rinse those, you know, twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Twice a day is usually good, unless it's really warm weather. And um, this particular, this stuff is kind of done. I'm going to leave it out, but I'm going to get into a little bit of it for lunch now. So uh, I'll keep updating you on what we're doing. All right. So hey, there's the sprouted beans, which are sprouted that long, which is soaked 24 hours and then about another 36 hours of sprouting. And here's the cabbage water, which is done. So we are just going to... into there. And of course we're going to leave that low. Because since it's solid, the uh the beans are likely going to expand and we don't want it blowing over the top. So, I'm going to recap this. I can drink that now. Um, and then this, we're going to let it go. And uh, uh, I've not seen anybody else do this with the beans before. I'm sure it's done. It's got to have some relationship to uh, more exotic fermentations in other parts of the world. But I've never seen anything quite like this. I did it a year ago, and it was absolutely um, yummy. So we'll see how this turns out. So this is the chili. It is definitely done. In fact, when I move, oh, there's no air coming out of it, but must not. If it's airtight, sometimes it'll like release pressure. Must not have been. So um, <clears throat> this is done, and you can see the top is starting to sort of change color, and that's just because <clears throat> all the liquid stuff is down at the bottom. So I'm gonna shake that up, and that's going in. Um, you can see the top is slightly changing color, and that's because all the liquid has gone down to the bottom. So I'm actually going to shake that up, and then I'm going to put that in the fridge because it's done. And it's it's yummy. I love it on stuff. So I haven't ever seen anyone like, I know people have done it, but I haven't quite noticed it. And I really love this as an addition to stuff. I love spicy, exotic, extreme, psychedelic taste. And this is like a really, really good thing. It's got, um, from the fermentation, it's hot, but it, then it has a lovely, lovely, lovely vinegary taste. All right, here, let's just give that a shake. There that is, see that? Yummy, yummy, yummy. So that's going in the fridge, that's done. Hey, so there is the, uh, the wheat berries. They are soaked overnight and sprouted for 
roughly 36 hours. You got the little tails coming out. So I'm just going to add water and I'm holding the camera so I'm going to do this one handed. And I'm short of water so I'm going to go fetch some. So that's, that's enough water to get it started, but, you know, I'm going to fill it all the way to the top, and, and you can too. Um, and then that needs to go under the towels, like my other rejuvelac there, so the dust and stuff, because you, you don't cover this. <clears throat> and that is, that's, that's simply rejuvelac. That's an amazing drink to do every single day. You know, you soak your wheat berries overnight. You sprout them for 24 to 36 hours, then you pour fresh water over it, and then in 20 hours you have a, a probiotic drink. Pour it off, you leave the wheat berries at the bottom, you add more water, and you keep doing that over and over and over until it looks like it's not doing anything, and if you're not got a taste and your body has not yet adjusted to probiotics, at some point it may be, become too potent for where you're at. And I used to be like this. It never gets that way to me. So that is the famous Rejuvelac. Um, that is total old school raw. Alright. Here is the <clears throat> here is the bean uh, mixture fermenting. And as you can see uh, I left it about two inches down. It's expanding. So I'm going to dip a little bit of that off. Uh, with lunch today um, and probably leave it out another 24 hours uh, you see it doing that sort of separating thing there which uh, it's very liquidy in there and so here's the the last probiotic this this sort of series here is all done and so it's not so much exactly the recipe although I'll give you the recipe here I got three quarters of a cup of soaked and sprouted sesame seeds, a uh, cup and a half of um, soaked and sprouted sunflower seeds. Ah, uh, geez, what else do we do in there? We got some chia seeds in there, just a sprinkling. Um, spices, we got turmeric and coriander, which you always want to combine because it one's heating the turmeric. Coriander cooling. We got some fennel in there. Uh, we got a big old slab of coconut butter in there. Uh, dill. Did I say fennel? Yeah, I said fennel. Um, and it's not so much the recipe here. And then I'm going to put a bunch of vinegar in there. Which is going to be in the neighborhood of... You know, good... To taste basically. I like things sour. So, and then the reason it's going to become probiotic is because we're going to take the cabbage water and we're going to use that to turn it over. Okay? So there's the cabbage water going in there. And that's probably good. Oh, I put a little bit of allspice in there too and uh, some cinnamon. Yeah, kind of a, a Vietnamese thing there. The dill and the cinnamon and the allspice. Kind of some weird stuff. So I'm just going to blend that up. And that's not so much the, uh, yeah, big deal. That's making a dressing with, uh, you know, and you could have used the Rejuvelac. Uh, but I use the cabbage water. It's what I do afterwards. So hopefully there's going to be some left. And I'm just going to leave it out. Okay? It's very... Uh, sort of counter to the uh, cultural conditioning, you know, it goes in the refrigerator. No, 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 no. I leave my salad dressings out. And sometimes when they're really strong, you'll see the, you know, the, the you'll see it get the little air there from the release of the carbon dioxide or whatever that air exchange is that comes off of that when uh, probiotics are doing their thing. So, hey, here we go. So the beans are done. 
I, am, I had forgotten because I haven't done this in a while, but after you leave it in there for about two days, the green husks from the mung beans float to the top. And I don't, those aren't bad to eat at all because most people don't really take them away, but that's just an action that happens. And uh, I have actually done this and scooped those away um, just for the hell of it to see. Um, and here is the dressing that I did yesterday. You can see there's a little air bubble right in there, which if I let this go, I'd probably get more air from the fermentation. And here's all the Rejuvelac. That's the one. These are my old ones, the two on the left, or the left and the middle one. And this is the new one. And so it gets a little bit of a white scum on there, but that's no big deal. It's just sort of the <coughs> fermentation manifesting more. Um, but then if you see stuff starting to grow on top of that, then that's probably not so good. You know, just, uh, and if you have a fear of that, you can scoop it off or whatever. You know, it's just a big thing in our culture about sterilization. And the big thing is fermentation is a major, major part of our, um, yeah, of our evolution and our health. And it's been like sort of stripped of our culture, probably starting somewhere in the 70s when they decided to pasteurize all milk. So hey, here we go. Getting ready to have a little bit of lunch here. The red drink there is the, the cabbage water. And I'm going to, that's, that's the end of it right there, and I'm going to add water onto that. And then you can get a few cycles out of that at least. You know, just do it to your, your intuition, or do it three or four times. And that'll, that'll redo itself. And so here's what I did with the cabbage water. That's actually kind of one of my favorite drinks at this time. It's got a little bit of orange juice in there. It's mostly the cabbage water. A little orange juice, a uh, little dash of vinegar, um, about a half a teaspoon of uh, hibiscus powder, and a bit of stevia. And so that's sort of uh, the uh, all the lacto ferments are super vitamin C bombers and with the addition of the hibiscus in there and then the vinegar and all of that it's a vitamin C bomb and it is really good for your digestion so here's a oh here's the the seed cheese it's been in the refrigerator and it's still still been doing its thing so you see those little air pockets in there that's usually what you'll see in like when I leave the dressing out I'm actually wrapping up here so I'll, if I lift this dressing out again, which I will, if I don't wind up eating it all, it will get those air pockets like that from the fermentation. So, this is what I'm going to eat here, a nice little simple lunch. The yellow stuff there, that's the um, fermented salad dressing. Right there by the spoon, that's a big ball of the sea cheese. And then right in the middle there with the garbanzos and all that, that's the fermented beans. And then, of course, that's a big sprout mix of onions, red clover, um, onions, onion sprouts, red clover, alfalfa, um, broccoli, uh, Chinese cabbage. Mm, I might have forgot one. Um, the one right there, that is buckwheat. And that is sunflower seed sprouts. Just, not the greens, just the sprouts from the whole seed. So I'm going to drizzle, drizzle a bit of olive oil over that. I'm going to do that now. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Probably a little tiny bit of vinegar and a sprinkle of salt over that. And that's what I'm going to eat. And that is classic, classic old school raw right there. Old school raw. Not new school raw, which is mm, a bunch of, it'll work, but it, ain't, it won't sustain you like this. 